In this video, we'll find the number of protons and electrons for S2 minus. This is the sulfide ion. So first, let's look at sulfur as it appears on the periodic table. This is neutral sulfur. There's no plus or minus sign after it, so it's neutral sulfur. We can see that 16, this is the atomic number. And the atomic number, that equals the number of protons. So the atomic number here for sulfur, that's 16, and it has 16 protons. When we compare an ion like S2- minus to just neutral sulfur, the only thing that's different, that's the number of electrons. So the protons, the atomic number, that's the same, 16 and then 16. So the only thing that's different for the ion, that's going to be the number of electrons. So since sulfur is a neutral element, the number of protons are going to equal the number of electrons. So we have 16 electrons. That makes sense. The negative charge and the positive charge adds up to zero because this is neutral. It has a net charge of zero. For the S2 minus, think of it this way. We have two extra negative charges. Those are the electrons. We have two extra electrons. 16 plus two, that gives us 18 electrons for the S2 minus ion. It's important to understand that when an atom loses an electron, negative charge, it becomes positive. The atom that receives that electron, it gets the negative charge, it becomes a negative ion. This is Dr. B with the number of protons and electrons for S2 minus. Thanks for watching.